Okay, so we will find how to solve problem 3.29 of Sudoku book. So the question is find the node voltages. The node voltages is V1, V2, V3, and V4. And as you see here, the unit of the resistor is not ohm but Siemens. So this is conductance. Conductance is the inverse of resistance. So we need to use the ohm's law in the form of conductance. I is equal to GV. So I will use this Ohm's law to calculate uh, our uh, our goals. So we will need to start by using KCL at V1. KCL at V1. But first, I need to assume where the current goes. So as usual, I will assume that the current will goes to the ground and for the horizontal to the right and this one is to the bottom this one is to the ground and this one is also up so at V1 so let's see what we have at V1 at V1 the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out the current that goes in is only this current so we will have V4 minus V1 divided by the value of this resistors but it's not divided it's multiplied by 1 and any other current that goes in no so we will move on to the current that goes out it's this one it's 5 plus this one this one is V1 to the ground so V1 minus 0 divided by this resistors so it's multiplied by 2 and then this one plus V1 minus V2 multiplied by this one so we will do some algebra here v4 minus v1 is equal to 5 plus 2 v1 plus v1 minus v2 and i will move this one to the right hand side so i will have 2 v1 plus v1 plus 1 i will have 4 v1 and V2 I only have that value V2 and V4 I will have minus V4 and for 5 I will move to the left hand side so it's minus 5 and I will save this equation as equation number 1 and now let's move on to the equation number 2 by using KCL at V2 KCL at V2 what do we have here the current that goes in is only this one the other is going out so the current that goes in is V1 minus V2 multiplied by 1 and that equal to V2 multiplied by 2 plus V2 minus V3 multiplied by 4 and let's do some algebra again 2 V2 plus this one is 4 V2 minus 4 V3 so we move all to the left hand side we will have V1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 it's minus 7 minus 7 V and then for V3 I only have that value plus for V3 and that will equal to 0 and let's save this equation as equation number 2 so we only have, we only have two equations here we still need two more and we need to find out KCL 
at v3 what do we have here the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out all the current here is going in so we start at this one so what that is is v4 minus v3 multiplied by 1 and then plus this current here that goes in 4 v2 minus v3 and then plus again this current it's 6 ampere and the current that goes out there is no current that goes out so it's 0 and we can manipulate this one algebraically for v2 minus 4 v3 I will move 6 to the right hand side so we don't mind about it later so this one is 4 v2 and then 4 v3 minus 1 v3 minus 4 v3 it's minus 5 v3 and for v4 we only have one value there and that will equal to minus 6 and let's save this equation as equation number 3 and we still need to do one more note one more notes let's do that so we need to do kcl at v4 of kcl at v4 the current that goes in is only from this current source the other current is going out so it's 2 and that will equal to this current v4 minus v1 multiplied by 1 and plus this current here it's 3 v4 and plus this current here v4 minus v3 multiplied by 1 let's do some algebra here v4 minus v1 plus 3 v4 plus v4 minus v3 so we will have 2 and this one is minus v1 for v3 we only have this value minus v3 and for v4 what do we have here 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so it's 5 v4 and let's save this as equation number 4 so we have all four equations one two three four and let's write this as matrix form and calculate it in MATLAB so I will rewrite this I will erase this and make it tidy so this is the four equations that we derive from KCL from the four nodes and we can write it as matrix form so for the first one first row is 4 and minus 1 0 and minus 1 and this one is for v1 v2 v3 and v4 and the factor of the result is minus 5 here so this is for the first first equations and for the second equation we will have 1 minus 7 4 and that one is 0 and for that sound it's my son playing around so sorry about that and this one is 3 
3 here it's 4 minus 5 oh no no uh, phi 1 is 0 so phi 1 is 0 phi 2 is 4 phi 3 is minus 5 phi 4 is 1 and this one is minus 1 0 and then minus 1 and then 5 and this one this will be 6 and this one is 2 so we need to calculate the inverse of this matrix so let's let's have this as matrix A and this as matrix B so we need to calculate inverse A multiplied by B we will have the matrix B and by using MATLAB I calculated that I will have the result is minus 0 0.7708 and then 1.2098 and this one is 2.3090 and the last one is 0 0.7076 and this is my final result uh, let me know if you find any mistakes and i need to take care of my son thank you